Hello everyone, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you once again right here outside with the 1992 Rexall RX motorhome and I just did a boneheaded thing and now I'm going to have to do a repair job. You know what I just did? This is the heater hose. Here's the heater core right here. Heater hose. I was trying to take this hose off and I ended up breaking the weld where the pipe connects to the heater core itself right in there. I'm not going to explain why I was doing such a boneheaded thing like that, but suffice it to say that looks like I'm going to have to do a heater core job. Get the heater hose here. Here's the other one back here. Everything's can everything's right up here up front. However, it's a small engine compartment. Well, I managed to get the heater core out. Here's all. Here's the system parts sitting on my desk. There's the there's the heater core. It wasn't too difficult to be to remove, but you can see it's missing one of the inlet pipes. This heater core was not leaking. I accidentally broke off that pipe. And it's been quite a saga in the last few days figuring out what I'm going to do about it. Because you see, I can't just go down to Pep Boys Auto Zone and say, I got a, a motorhome built by Ford, I need a heater core. What I've learned is Ford built the chassis and the motor, but many of the other components, including the entire you know house part of the coach, were installed and assembled by the motorhome company, in my case, Rexall, and they used parts from other manufacturers. So it's not like I can get this heater core anymore. It was part of a system made by, you can see it there, Frigicool. It's no longer in business. And uh, I was at a loss of where to get a heater core for this thing. So this this case the, the the heater core sits in here like that. The uh, I'm not going to put this in now, but that's the air conditioner evaporator that also sits in here. The air conditioning has not been working in the dash air conditioning. So yes, I did have to take apart the system and uh, wasn't too worried about. Releasing that to the atmosphere it wasn't really working anyway, and uh, it's probably low on pressure to begin with. I may or may not ever get it running again, the air conditioning anyway. But I do want to get the heat going. Anyway, that's a project for another day, but I did have to disconnect it just so you know and get this case off. This case also has the uh, vacuum control door here that opens when you switch when it switches between fresh air or recirculated air from inside the cabin but the issue as you can see is where can I get a new heater core let me get a tape measure out this thing measures uh, about 18 inches long 17 and a half inches long it's six inches deep it's about two inches wide. I figured if I was having this problem, so so likely were others. So I went on the RV forums, and sure enough, others have had this dilemma too. I learned of a guy who actually has some heater core, aftermarket heater cores, more or less like this, that he's selling on eBay for $185. I don't want to pay $185 couple of differences though it's not exactly the same thing it's a little bit shorter than what I have here maybe 16 inches long and his two inlet pipes are actually spread out further so I would have to alter this case to drill some new holes but I think the main objection is I don't feel like spending $185 for it I don't want to bypass the heater I do want to fix it I want to have heat coming in so this is what I decided to do. I decided that since I'm going to have to retrofit it anyway to make it work, since I can't buy stock heater core and I'm going to have to buy some aftermarket deal, I went out and bought one that I think it might just might work. 
certainly it's a lot smaller in fact it's only about half the half the width but it's got the two inlet pipes it's six inches tall it's two inches wide it's just a little bit shorter so I'm going to have to put it in the place of this one and then kind of fill in this maybe with some uh, filler material, uh, I don't know, a block of wood, something like that. Obviously I'm going to have less heating surface, less place for the air to blow across it, but I'm betting it's going to work out okay anyway. The holes don't entirely match up here, but close. I'll have to, I'll have to tweak those holes a little bit. But I really feel like I will be able to get the heat back running again. And this heater core was only forty-six dollars on eBay, not the one hundred and eighty-five dollars that I was thinking I was going to have to spend. So I've already started cleaning things up. I, this was cracked. I fixed some cracks on this case with, with epoxy. That really worked pretty good. I put some more insulation material on this on the on the door, the air door, and uh, now to put that heater core back in and find a filler box. Get this back up on the motorhome. So here we go. Well, here's a look uh, at the retrofit that I did. Here's the new heater core in its place. Cut this hole out just a little bit bigger so that the pipe could stick through. My original pipes were about an inch and three quarters long. These are about an inch and a quarter, but I think that will work. And then what I did is, using some plywood, I built a little filler piece to go in this case. And obviously, the disadvantage is less airflow because this is taking up half the width of what the heater core used to be. But it's the best that I could come up with. And uh, so this fits in there really good. That's going to hold it in place really well. What remains now is to take the AC condenser. That fits in right here. Reconnect this air door. And then head out and then install it back on the vehicle. So that piece goes over the top there. And uh, we'll put, put our friend uh, Frigicool back in place. All right, so let's head out and do that next. Well, today we've got the case heating cooling system back up into place and I'm not going to lie to you getting that case back up there was a real challenge but I think we finally got it right now I'm flushing the cooling system I haven't connected the heater core yet but I'm going to do that after I flush the after I flush the cooling system these are the two hoses that connect up to the heater core and I just sort of connected them for the time being. I don't need to flush the heater core, it's brand new. So kind of bypassed it while I flush the cooling system and we're going to connect it and see what kind of temperatures we can get inside. Well here we are inside the motorhome. And I thought we'd wrap up this project with a little temperature check. Got the heater core hooked up, engines running, nice warm air blowing out of the vents here. Oh, I can't read that thermometer, that's saying like 140 degrees. That's warm air coming out, yeah. That feels pretty good, coming out nice and warm. So, it was a retrofit project, but we salvaged it and yeah. feeling nice and good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you looking at the video. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them. Take care.